OK, let's start with the IBC on its own. Take out the top bars, remove it from the cage. Checking out any rust on that, turn it around the opposite way around. So you need to line up the bit with the bracket just above the horizontal bar, drill them through, screw it back in, make sure that the bottom of the bracket has contact with that horizontal. Point being to keep it all going without any power whatsoever. So a clamp and a drill bit. And there she is, all done. Next we need to measure for the outlet underneath, which is around about 55 centimetres, and then the wood supports, which are just over a metre in length. Pretty easy. OK, and there we have it. It's only about, or oh, close on 30 minutes later. No cutting of the steel cage whatsoever. And you just got to cut the actual plastic itself, and you can do that easily enough. You saw the stills of how those were drilled. Just make sure that you get that bottom edge as flush as you can with that horizontal. Drill them. I drilled them by hand just to prove a point that it can be done without any power. So it can be done in the field essentially. Um, Rescrew them back up. Then get yourself some half decent wood. This is probably a little bit too thick but considering it's only pine uh, I would suggest getting uh, a hard hardwood of some sort. Probably in Australia, red gum would be the most recommended. Elsewhere, use whatever you think. But that then runs the full length of the IBC. Now you could cut them to, to, uh, to size. I haven't. This is just to prove a concept. Prove a point to myself that it can be done. All with no power. Minimum tools. No cutting, essentially no cutting of the IBC itself. Now I would suggest that the wood goes in before you do the marking and cutting around there. The reason being that if you don't have the wood in there that will then sink down that distance okay and then when you come to putting your gravel in or whatever you'll find that it's going to be resting more on this than what it is going to be on the steel arm. Now those steel arms aren't very strong for a start, they're only there to hold the top of the IBC in place. Not designed to take any any stress or any weight at all. So definitely support them with some decent wood. But yes, put your wood in first, that will then bring that level up from there to there. Then you can go around with a black texture and mark it. Then you can just use a hacksaw or any other hand saw that you may have instead of using circular saws or powered saws or anything and nip it off at that point. Now when you nip it off at that point I'm suggesting, because I don't know this yet because I'm going to be finding out myself, I'm suggesting that normally it would be cut around the 600 mark which means now it's going to be cut around about the maybe 640 mark I'd say 600 being up there, 700 being down here, you get this level, it's essentially a level there, you're looking at probably about 640 to 645, maybe 650. That means then that that is going to protrude down here, probably by about that much. Which means when it comes to this wood, the cut, instead of it being level here, it's going to be up about here somewhere. So I'm envisioning having to cut out a little section for this wood to go in. But we'll find that out when I get back.